God bless Texas. It's uh, day six. Uh, rolled into Texas last night. Slept at the Walmart. Last night. Someone uh, came in uh, five in the morning looking for uh, maternity dresses. Woke up Harry. He woke me up. So I've been up since then. Starting to get a nice bomb bubble piss smell going. I'm try to get some food. I don't know, figure out where the day takes us. and she doesn't want to be on camera. Actually, very monumental. Our first Asian ride that we've ever got in my entire life of hitchhiking. Um, she's half uh, Chinese and half Spanish. She said her father would be very upset at her for picking up hitchhikers, but she picked us up because she saw our faces and we're Asian. And she said Asians don't hitchhike unless they really have to because they have too much pride. Little did she know she picked up the two worst Koreans on the planet. So, uh... We got a ride from Elena, my favorite uh, gay Asian grandmother. She's uh, She's been a, a wonderful ride. She gave us close to a 300 mile ride. Um, we uh, passed out of Texas. We're gonna head into Oklahoma. Uh, I learned in this 300 miles how horrible my gaydar is. I had no idea. She came out of the closet in uh, 1974. Her father still hasn't forgiven her. She got artificially inseminated by a Portuguese man. She doesn't like the gays these days because they're not really gay. All the people that say they're gay now are uh, actually just bisexuals and they need to just pick a side already. I mean, I should have known because of the haircut, but she kept talking about her son and I asked her about her husband or her boyfriend. And then she just looked in the rear view like I was crazy and she goes, I'm gay. <laughs> and I was like, oh shit, all right, well, excuse me. Sweet lady was gonna yeah. give us a ride all the way to New York. Instead, we decided to stop in uh, Yukon, Oklahoma City home of Garth Brooks and Toby Keith. So here we are with Mike. He's taking us to, he's, ta take, he's taking us towards Tulsa. Yeah, um, you guys want to get Tulsa? Yeah, fuck uh, yeah. For, for real? Yeah. Yes. And uh, look. Is there a college up there or what? No, nah, man, we're just on a great adventure, on an excellent adventure. Mike, uh, Mike's been fishing all day. Did you catch anything? Okay. Yeah, Mike didn't catch anything, but. Shit, no, I might. Mike's a, Mike's a little tipsy because he's been uh, drinking all day, um, and he was nice enough to offer us uh, some wheat beer. City. And you promised not to kill us. Nah, no problem. Okay. All right. all right. I feel better now. Oh come on, man. How many how many beers have you had today? Uh, about fourteen. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Everyone everyone in the Bible Belt likes a DUI, likes to drink and drive. You ever picked up two Chinamen before? Two Orientals? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm you have? Vietnam vet. I'm a Vietnam vet. You're a Vietnam vet? Yeah. You're, Mike is a Vietnam vet, Vietnam and that is why he has picked up two Chinamen before he's ever picked us up before. Yeah. What do you think about the war now? <laughs> All right. <laughs> you like George Bush? Oh, I love him. Well, t tell, me, tell me about your love for George Bush. Well, what do you want to know about it? Well, I mean, you, you you almost look like you had a tear coming down in your eye when you I talked love about that him. Man. Tell me how much you love him. Tell me love how much you love that man. Love him. Love him. Love him. And his daddy. And his daddy. And his daddy. And his daddy and Ronald Reagan. And Ronald Reagan. Goddamn Republicans. Fucking rule. Fucking rule, man. Goddamn right. So you're not. Are you Democrats or? I, I don't. I don't get involved in politics. I'm a lover, not a fighter. Oh, motherfucker, you gotta get involved in politics. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> Kiss my ass. <laughs> hey, you Mike. Have to be Mike, we rolled through. Uh, we rolled through Amarillo. And, uh, we were warned by the whites and the Mexicans that the blacks are the worst people. Oh, the blacks? Yeah, that's true. Yeah, there you go. Well, yeah, I gotta get. What's wrong with the blacks out there, out in Oklahoma? Fucking niggers, man. What? What do they do? Kill your ass. They kill. They'll kill your they'll ass. Kill your goddamn you would. You wouldn't have picked this up if we were. Dude, black. Yeah, look. It might even be on news or something. They'll kill your fucking ass, man. I promise. Fuck, man. They'll kill your fucking ass. Oh, wow. Yeah. 
One of the best drunk driving DUI hell rides I've had in a while. Let's go. Nah, we're gonna hang out here, get some grub. At, at the at the you you, you, <laughs> you can't scare. Yeah, this ain't bad. That's bad, man. What? What's bad? Well, I got scared, y'all. You didn't scare us, yeah, man. You're a little young ass. still here. Fucking turds, man. Just, just because you're all here. So what are you guys gonna do? We're off into the sunset. Wish us luck. Wish us luck. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> uh, what are you? Hey, you guys are sweet guys. You're a sweet guy too, but yeah. I, to be completely honest, you, you did scare us a little bit. Oh damn. Yeah. Why? Well, it was probably like the sixth time the car almost flipped over. <laughs> I remember doing that. Man. Hey, it's, it's, it's all good. Mike, you're, you're a great guy and I appreciate you. Can't you here. Don't be scared of me, all right? We're not scared of you. Right, let me take you down the road. Mike, we're completely all good. Yeah. Mike, come on. So <laughs> long, Mike. I love you, guys. I love okay. you, too. I love you, too, Mike. All right. I guarantee you. Love you. So, Mike, uh, one of the best hell rides I've had in, in my entire life. A scholar and a gentleman, to be sure. Uh, basically gave us the grand tour of Oklahoma, blasting his favorite band, Hinder. Uh, his stereo was on repeat, so we heard the same song about 17 times. He liked to scream at young black teenagers uh, <laughs> when we were pulled up at red lights and blast Hinder. Fuck yeah! What do you think about my music? <laughs> and in the last hour, drove around pretty much in the same one mile radius of uh, where he picked us up. So actually we went backtracked, so we are uh, nowhere near Tulsa, um, and uh, now I'm drunk also, so we'll see where we end up tonight. Thanks guys, how far are you guys going? So, it's day seven, this is thumbs up. Um, exactly the uh, one week point on this trip um, there's this thing that happens when you walk a lot carrying a lot of stuff and it's hot outside your butt cheeks if you're a little bit overweight they rub together and your assholes start to hurt a lot um, pretty tired pretty hungry but being so tired I end up getting reinvigorated full of life when uh, by the kindness of strangers like drunk people like Mike I guess it takes a, a bit of alcohol to turn a lot of humans into uh, humans. I guess being drunk turns you from being this like robot into like a compassionate being that's like, hey, there's two fucking humans on the side of the road. It's hot outside. They look like they're going to die. I'm going to pick them up. What kind of haircut we giving your partner, man? Give him a hood hop. Give him a hood hop. I'm going to give you a hood hop, man. Yeah. 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 So, what's going on with uh, Oklahoma? Uh, Oklahoma is the place to be. We went through three states where the second we rolled into town, like, I mean, the second we passed the state line and got off the exit, the people said, watch out for the blacks. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, you know, is that how people feel like, you know, blacks saw her in Oklahoma, man? That, that's what they said. I'm a black man, and I'm proud to be I, I, black. You know I, what I'm saying? I can so, see, I can see that. If uh, a person tell you to watch out for the black, whoever that person was told you to watch out for the black, you really need to watch out for that person. Hey, I got another question for you guys. What's up, man? How come uh, black people don't pick up hitchhikers? Alright. Even if they like look like two nice Chinamen? Man. <laughs> In all my years of hitchhiking, I've never been picked up by a black person to pick up. chance you won't even. No, I'm just I'm just hey, man. I'm not stopping, man. <laughs> <laughs> for nobody. I don't care if it's another black person. See you when you get there, bro. You know what? I'm like this, man. People complain and complain and complain about things, man. It don't matter where the fuck you at. Excuse my language. But I had to stay 14 years in prison, man. I didn't like that shit, but I made the best. Yeah. What you mean, what happened? I went for robbery, man. 
I got out myself about uh, two years ago and uh, I've been uh, trying to get some positive attitude on it. What's your time for? Uh, I beat up a police officer. Down in California? Uh, and they didn't kill you? No, I was in Tokyo actually. Oh! <laughs> and, I'm, and I'm Korean, and they don't really like Koreans in Japan. Oh, okay. So it was a tough time. Yeah. How was the other Tokyo? Horrible. Because they put you in a, they put you in a little, uh, little closet, and you never see anybody. Like you know, yeah, it's salt. It's like solitary confinement. How long? Uh, it was three months, which is nothing compared to 14 years. But they were trying to put me in there for seven years, and uh, I don't know. But what they feed? Like Japanese food, rice. <laughs> you survived. Yeah, it was tough, man. They, they didn't really like me too much. You know martial arts? Come on. Of course I did. Go teach <laughs> He has officially been hood hog. Hood hog by Jibberry, yeah, man. Nice <laughs> nice <laughs> This is a nice trip to jail. Yeah. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Still in uh, Tulsa, Oklahoma, having a tough time getting out. Um, amazingly, Danielle uh, picked us up on the side of the road, and uh, she, her house is under renovation. And so I asked her if I could paint it, and she said yes. Um, it's got to be nice though, because uh, I want to keep it. It I'll, can't be something that when you guys leave, I roll paint over of it. Of course, I will. Uh, All right. I'll make I'll make you beautiful. Make it good. Um, okay. Okay, let's just do it really quick, just just to see how. What the fuck is going on here? <laughs> what the fuck is these two chinks doing here playing instruments while you're dancing? Put your clothes back on. Two chinks. Chinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, dude. This is my fiance. Okay. Hi, how's it going? I'm Dave and Harry. Um, we're, we're doing a portrait of uh, your fiance on the wall here. On the wall. Sun sets in beautiful Tulsa, Oklahoma. Uh, we have experienced uh, many great adventures in the barbershop and also uh, with uh, the Duchess of Darkness, who is actually not dark at all and a sweet, beautiful butterfly on the inside. Um, you know, sometimes uh, we get a raw deal and we need to uh, change our situation in life. So, it seems the greatest spot as any right now to uh, hop a freight out of town. Uh, still heading east. Many amazing cities to come, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, New Orleans, Miami, and a big hurricane on the way. So, until next time, thumbs up. We rolled into uh, Little Rock, Arkansas last night. Um, and uh, try to hitchhike out, and the state troopers, uh, you know, stopped us. It is uh, just a little bit past midnight, I, I believe, and uh, we are uh, in Arkansas, 
Um, and uh, we uh, we got we got pulled over by these nice officers. They've amazingly not given us any tickets. Um, they're gonna tell us a little bit about Arkansas hitchhikers and stuff like that. We don't see a whole lot of hitchhikers on the interstate. Of course, it's illegal for anyone to be hitchhiking right. on a controlled access highway. We don't have a whole lot of problem with that. Have you guys ever picked up hitchhikers? Oh yes. Okay. And what, we usually make sure they're either you know aware that they're not supposed to be on the interstate and get them off the whole, off the highway and if of course if they're non-compliant then we wind up having to arrest them for it. we hate to do that but sometimes you have to do that right so thank you so much for not uh, punishing us for you know and uh and anything else you guys want to say <laughs> thumbs, up. thumbs up america thumbs up Just jump, jumped a freight in Little Rock uh, that has uh, ceramics in it. this on the rails. I don't know who this guy is, but I've seen his shit everywhere. I guess he's been hopping for 40 years. I like his style. It's nice and smooth. Old school hobo. Hobo. Short for ho boys. Dudes that used to swing the hoe. Right in the rails. Vagabond. Never came back. Jack. We're in a pretty dangerous situation right now. We're in one of the biggest yards I've ever been in. And uh, we can't find our way out. And there's like 300 tracks. And it's like, uh, is that a video game? Frogger? <laughs> it's like Frogger. We're like going in between the cars and they're like, Alright, let's get out of here. Heavy fucking metal. Uh, we just made it through the Frogger maze, and only thing is we're uh, not really close to any civilization. So uh, sorry, there's no train cops around, so I feel pretty. Oh shit! Let's let's get down. We're a little bit outside Memphis, I think. Uh, we're gonna try to pitch into town right now, but we're pretty tired. It was a long, bumpy ride and really screechy. Got picked up by uh, two of the weirdest uh, Grateful Dead fans ever. GDF baby, love, 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 love Gary, Gary Garcia, but yeah. are into rap, graffiti, ex-vegetarians, and they'll punch you in the face. <laughs> the race issues and all the segregation type of shit gets oh, yeah. so much more intense after you get out of either coast, you know? Yeah. Like the second we got out of uh, Nevada, it, was, it became apparent like, oh, those are the blacks over there, don't go over there. Yeah. And, you know, well, I'm going I'm to go out and tell you, Memphis, right? It's like a reverse racism thing around here. Like the black folks around here, right. can't not. I mean, they hate on white folks. Right. They King call it Memphrica. Memphrica. But <laughs> Martin Luther King got shot in Memphis. That's right. You know, that's uh, where he was assassinated. Right. Or whatever. Yeah. So they got yeah. bad hate for the white yeah. people. Yeah. There's, a, there's a lot of hatred in Memphis. Real so bad. But that's uh, that's something, man. I can't stand the racism. Do they have any Jews out here? Oh yeah. The South. The yeah. South got a lot of Jews poking in. Did they get a lot of shit from other white people? Or? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I really, everybody gets fucked with. Everyone, yeah, everybody, pretty much. Everyone gets fucked with. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, everybody's, everybody's looking at different. Everybody's pretty segregated down here. You know? We are in uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and a lot of things just happen all at once. Um, first of all, we're in barbecue territory in bush country. Um, we were just walking down Midtown, uh, Tennessee, Memphis, and uh, we ran into this amazing restaurant, Casa Blanca Cafe, and then we saw the Jaguar, and we're checking it out, and uh, I'm here. The owner and the amazing human being that owns the shop uh, came out and told us about uh, the time uh, he uh, this thing goes 180. He got ticketed for 155. Cops never caught him. Amazing human being, all in all. And so we started talking. He's from Palestine. He's from Jerusalem. While we were talking, he mentioned his ex-wife was Jewish, and that's like the same thing as uh, me me marrying a Japanese girl. Or I mean, the story be me and my ex-wife Karen uh -huh. is amazing. We are we got married like in uh, when we made we start to go out. Right. Almost every night. Right. Before, I mean, she, we ask all kind of question. Right. And after that, we got in love. Right. And uh, her people. Right. Ninety-five percent from the people we know each other. Right. And when they find that I'm Arab, right. they start to hate me and they start to take oh, her yeah. away from me. This is like Tell uh, all some bad things about me. He your, to your relation, your relationship just could yeah. start an entire war. I mean, yeah. I mean that's like. The most taboo sex, like Jew on Arab porn, is like, it's it's insane. I mean, even her brother, and her mother, and all her brothers, nobody right. came to the war. No they, one came to the war. No one, no one, and nobody spoke out for three years. Was the sex good at least? I mean, it, it was <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and then actually, the second question, which is even more important than that question, and that question is, can we get a ride in the Jaguar? Let's go. No, you give us a ride. You give us a ride because it was right. that bitch. Have you loved it? Our best ride so far. Thumbs up, America. We are still in uh, Memphis, Tennessee. Um, unbelievable luck yesterday. We uh, ran into Aimir, a um, Palestinian man who let us stay at his mansion. and. Uh, cooked us the most amazing lunch and then dinner and then breakfast this morning. Dropped us off in his Jaguar at the uh, wonderful Wonder Bread factory. Um, Wonder Bread, delicious, amazing Wonder White Bread. And uh, it's a good thing because uh, we are uh, heading into uh, the Mississippi. We are, we are in, so far we've cut through states that have, uh, you know, a lot of hatred towards uh, black people from the whites and now we are going to sort of flip-flop and head into the states where there's a lot of hatred towards white people from the blacks. So what better way to start the day with some white bread? Also, Wonder Bread is the most amazing ingredient for uh, budget eating. So I'm going to try to score some free Wonder Bread or buy some at the uh, bread discount store, uh, thrift store, and I will show you some tricks of the trade and some of uh, Dave Cho's favorite Wonder Bread recipes. my makeshift uh, cooking show. Uh, I'm gonna show you how to eat really healthy and nutritious on the road. We got uh, Wonder Bread, sardines, we have tang, and we have peanut butter. When you eat this, you put it out in your mouth. That's what it looks like. You know what that is? That's glue in your stomach. And say this is your stomach, and you have glue going down. It's gonna, it squeezes your stomach into a pasty knot, and you're not hungry forever. It's a great diet plan. You don't get hungry, and it's really hard to force down after a while. I mean, I can't even talk right now. I got peanut butter and Wonder Bread all mixed in right there. So this is more of a survival thing. Now they got sardines in all kinds of sauces, but the best one to bring on the road is any kind of sardine with any kind of oil. This one has soy, soybean oil with hot green chilies. Olive oil is good, but we're not doing gourmet today. So here we've got a delicious fish sandwich for you. Mm. Mm. Send it over. And green chilies. All right, who doesn't like tang? Tang is the astronaut drink made uh, 
made for astronauts, used in space, delicious on a summer day with water. Um, you never think tang and Wonder Bread, but boy, you're in for a special treat right now. What I got for you today, tang balls. And what are tang balls? Exactly what it sounds like. A delicious, tangy, sweet, delicious after dinner dessert treat. Gets the fish oil taste out of your mouth, gets the peanut butter taste out of your mouth. Delicious. You've never tasted anything like it. Mm. Bon appetit, America. Bon appetit. Enjoy. We are at the uh, Mississippi River. We've traveled the state so far by car, automobiles, and uh, and trains. And uh, we're really liking the look of this river, this dirty, amazing fucking river. Here, have some blueberries. They're really good. <laughs> Hello, Ole Miss, M-I-S-S-I-S-S-I-P-P-I. -S 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 uh, I'm pretty sure we just crossed over somewhere over state line. We couldn't get a ride, so we just walked and hiked. It's hot outside from uh, Memphis into uh, state line for Mississippi. And we are on a uh, one of the back roads. You can hear the uh, harmonica music in the background somewhere. Um, try to catch a boat in the river, we'll see. Looks like the jungle. <laughs> 